Question 15 says the expression 5x minus 2 over x plus 3 is equivalent to which of the following? So we have four choices. Now, there are many ways to approach this problem. I'll show you uh, a few of them. One method is to use uh, long division. And if you do long division, you would do x plus 3 here, 5x minus 2. It's always good to know long division before you take the SATs. 5x divided by x is 5. 5 times x is 5x, where we're going to subtract it later. 5 times 3 is 15, but we're going to subtract it later. You end up with negative 17 as a, rem as a remainder. So the, the final answer is 5 minus 17 over x plus 3, which is choice D. That's one way. So another way is to use synthetic division. And when you divide by x plus 3, you'll have to put negative 3 up in the air and write down the coefficients of this, which is 5 and negative 2. 5 and negative 2. But what you have here is you bring the 5 down. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And then you add these up, you get negative 17. Once again, this is the remainder. This is a constant. So your final answer is 5 minus 17 over x plus 3, which is what they have for choice D. You can also write this as 5 plus negative 17 over x plus 3, which is equivalent. But either way, you're going to get option D. The third way is to say, OK, look, I'm just going to try a value for x and see which of, which of these match. OK, and that method, uh, in that method, a good value to plug in would be negative 2. Why negative 2? Because if you put negative 2 into here, you get a 1 in the denominator, which is very, very, it's very easy to divide by 1. Okay, so we're going to use negative 2. We're going to try x equals negative 2. This is another method. So let's plug it in. You get 5 times negative 2 minus 2 over negative 2 plus 3. As promised, the denominator is 1, which makes it very easy to work with. You end up with negative 10 minus 2 on the numerator over 1. This is negative 12. Okay, that means if I plug negative 2 into one of these, I should get negative 12. Uh, it would be unfortunate if more than one option gave me negative 12, because then that would narrow it down enough. But this, if you plug, if you, this one has no x involved, and this is not even remotely close, but this will be, this is 1. 5 minus 2 over 3, and this is 5 minus 2 thirds, so it's 4 and a third. So neither of these is negative 12, so uh, those can be limited in. And if you plug negative 2 into here, you get 5 minus 2 over, I mean, we can see that this denominator is going to go to 1. So this is 5 minus 2, which is 3, so that's not it. And for D, you would get 5 minus 17 over negative 2 plus 3. Remember, we're plugging in negative 2 for our test, uh, test number. Okay, this ends up being, this is a one, so you have five minus 17, which is indeed negative 12, which is what we were shooting for. So the answer is option D using this method.